This video is for our web host resellers. It shows you how to quickly identify which certificate orders require action so you can accelerate the validation process and get certificates issued faster. As you are aware, the validation process must be complete before an SSL certificate can be issued. All security certificates require a certificate signing request, or CSR, as well as domain control validation, or DCV, before they can be issued. Organization validation, or OV certificates, however, require validation of the registered company name, address, and phone number. Extended validation, or EV certificates, require the same validation as an OV, as well as validation of the company's legal registration and status, and a callback to verify the certificate requester, owner, and signer. At each step in the validation process, an order for a certificate might be delayed by little things, like an overlooked DCV-related email, inaccurate or missing information, or even just unfortunate timing, like a missed validation callback. You need to be able to quickly identify your customer's incomplete certificate orders, see where those orders are in the validation process, and determine what actions must be taken so you can get the certificates issued faster. All this can be done using tools in the Reseller Management Center, also known as the Reseller Portal. Let's take a look at how you can accelerate the validation process. Just before we get started, please note that you must have permission to run reports to perform the procedures in this video. If you do not see the Reporting Facilities section when you access your web host reseller account, contact the account administrator within your organization. It is always someone within your organization who manages user permissions. Log in to your account and click Web Host Reseller. Under Reporting Facilities, click Report on your incomplete orders. If you want to search for a specific order, one that a customer has called about, for example, enter the appropriate number in the Order Number field at the top. If you want to search for a list of incomplete orders that meet specific criteria, make your selection below and click Run Report. In the list of results, you can see at a glance what validation steps remain. A green check mark indicates a task is complete. A red exclamation mark indicates a task is incomplete and action must be taken by you and or your customer. And a circle with two blue curved arrows indicates a task is in progress. Note that each certificate either has a generate link button or a unique link displayed. Clicking generate link creates a unique link that you can send to the customer. Clicking the link opens a customized page that displays the current status of their certificate, giving them greater visibility on the process and highlighting any actions they must take in order to get their certificate issued faster. To search for incomplete orders that require action at the DCV stage, choose a date range if required and run a report with DCV not completed as the search criteria. For the certificate you want to work with, click Accelerate. Click the DCV row. Here you can see your customer has chosen a specific email address to receive the validation code, but has not yet entered that code. Working with the customer, you can get them to check this email account, get the validation code from them either over the phone or as a forwarded message, and enter it here. If required for any reason, you can also choose another DCV method that will work better for this customer. Perhaps, for example, they realize that they need to use a different email address. Now let's look at how to resolve an incomplete callback, which is part of both the OV and EV certificate process. Select a date range if required and use the search criteria OV callback not completed. Choose a certificate to work with by clicking Accelerate. Click the callback status line where it is indicated in red that an action is required. Verify with the customer that the officially registered number for the organization provided and listed here is correct. For example, it cannot be the mobile number of the main contact unless that mobile number is the officially registered phone number for the customer's organization. 
If the registered number is correct, does an extension number need to be added so that the callback can reach the correct person? And if the number is incorrect, you can now provide a new registered number here. Next, you can check if the language is correct. And finally, when you're ready, do one of the following. Initiate an immediate automated call, schedule a specific time for the call, or request a manual callback if there is some reason that an automated call won't work. To schedule the automated call, click Call Me Later On. Make sure the preferred language for callback has been selected. If you choose Call Me In, select a specific amount of time. If you choose Schedule Call For, you can select a specific time and date for the customer to receive the call. Finally, make sure any required extension has been entered. When you are finished, click OK. To search for incomplete orders that require action at the organization validation stage, choose a date range if required and run a report with organization validation not completed as the search criteria. In the search results, note that you can mouse over the task in progress icon to see what organization validation tasks have been completed and which ones are still in progress. Let's take a closer look at what these mean. Legal existence validation is complete when Sectigo has verified that the applicant is a legally recognized entity in existence and properly registered or incorporated in their jurisdiction and not designated as inactive, invalid, or some equivalent. As the reseller, it is up to you to make sure that the company name on the certificate order and the company's legal registration name match. If these do not match precisely, the Sectigo validation team must take extra steps to verify this information, which typically adds at least a day to the validation process. Assumed name validation is complete when Sectigo has been able to verify any assumed name that the applicant uses when conducting business. These are sometimes referred to as DBA for doing business as or trading as names. Assumed names are typically provided on EV certificate orders. Note that the total length of the company name and the DBA cannot exceed 64 characters. If it is longer, the certificate will be issued with the legal name only. Physical existence validation is complete when Sectigo has verified the physical address where the applicant or parent subsidiary company conducts business operations. It cannot be, for example, a mail drop, PO box, or care of address. Operational existence is complete when Sectigo has determined one of the following. That the organization has been verified by a third-party database. That the organization has been legally registered in their jurisdiction for a minimum of three years. Or that the organization has met certain criteria with a regulated financial institution, as verified through a bank letter. For more information, please check our knowledge base. EV click-through is complete when both the certificate request form and subscriber agreement sent by email from Sectigo have been successfully executed by the applicant. For both of these documents, the signer's name must be the legal name of either a person employed by the company requesting the certificate, preferably a key person within the organization like a CEO, CTO or director, or it can be the legal name of a person employed by an organization that has been formally contracted by the company requesting the certificate to get and install it. If the click-through has been submitted without a person's name on it, for example, it has the name of the company instead, the click-through cannot be redone. If this is the case, the client must sign and send Sectigo a hard copy of both the subscriber agreement and the certificate request form where the signer's name has been corrected. Both forms are available in the Sectigo knowledge base. If you, as the reseller, notice a signing error on these forms, here's how you can accelerate the validation process for your client. Contact the client and explain Sectigo will soon email them a request for corrected, signed hard copies of the forms. Instruct the client to print, sign, and scan the corrected forms, which, as mentioned, can be found in our knowledge base. Next, ask the client to create a support ticket on the Sectigo website. On the ticket, they must choose EV validation as the reason for the ticket and upload the signed forms as PDFs to the ticket before submitting. They should also provide their order number. 
When a signing error is corrected promptly in this way, Sectigo may not even have to contact the client and validation delays can be reduced or eliminated. And finally, second approval is complete when the EV order passes the final check by the senior validation team at Sectigo. If the certificate does not pass second approval, Sectigo will contact the customer directly to let them know what information or documentation must be provided. Now that all these validation terms are familiar, let's go back to the user interface for your account. Choose the certificate and click Accelerate. Click the Organization Validation row for more details about validation of legal existence, assumed name or DBA, physical existence and operational existence. You can also click the Agreement Execution row for more information about the status of EV click-through or click the Second Approval row for more information about how validation is progressing through the Senior Validation Team at Sectigo. Remember that Sectigo will always contact the customer directly if more information or documentation is required to complete validation. Most requests for information will be sent to the email address on the customer's Sectigo admin account. The steps demonstrated in this video should empower you to accelerate most certificate validations through to completion. However, if you do require further assistance, check our knowledge base for more information or go to the Sectigo ticketing system page on our website and create a support ticket.